guys welcome back to my channel I have something new to open today it is a diamond painting project but it's a very different diamond painting project it is a cushion cover like for a throw pillow and I have got a pillow piece to put in it when I'm done but I've never done one of these before so this is something new to me, so I thought I would share it with you. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> that is cool. And it comes with your legend. Um, a white tray with a spout, a fairly large wax piece, extra bags, little tweezers and all your drills. Doesn't look like there's all that many colors. Well, 15 colors, but there's not a lot of each color because the only area that you do is the hummingbird. This is the same as the hummingbird piece that I have done, but it's in a cushion cover. So I'm not even going to touch that stuff. I'll put that away. I'm just trying to figure out how I get into here. It's very strange. <laughs> There has to be a way into where the field is. Do I actually have to cut it? No instructions, of course. I know I have to get into there to paint it. But they have put no edge on here at all to tear it off with. As you can see, this is a learning process for me with this and if I do this wrong then oh well but yeah I've got to somehow cut this plastic because there is no entrance that is ridiculous you would think they would have one side where you could get into it but they don't so I'm just going to take my chances if I can grab it even so I don't want to damage the canvas. God, I'm glad this isn't a review because <laughs> it wouldn't be very good. Okay. I am going to pause the video for a second so I can go figure out how to get into this and I will be right back. This is crazy. Alrighty, I got it off. <laughs> that was utterly ridiculous. I have plastic all over my room that I have to clean up. And when I'm done, I'm going to have to go around and cut all of this plastic off because they literally sewed the plastic into this pillow cover. So yeah, I'm glad this isn't a review video because I could not, honestly, that would be my biggest complaint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so anyway, now that that is off, I was going to do a little bit of this while I'm talking to you guys. There's my favorite tray. <laughs> There's the legend. What number would those be? Let's start with these circles. It would be A03. Which is number 310. Here's number 310. These bags are very weird. why they gave me Ziplocs because I'm obviously going to need them because these bags are really tiny. I don't think there's going to be any putting them back in the bags. <sighs> there's one of my favorite drill pens. Let's see. And I'm not going to open that wax pad because I know I have one that I've already started using. 
There's that pencil box finished. Okay, so I'm just going to start placing these. Hopefully these stick well. I'm not sure if you would seal these after, like Mod Podge them or not, because it's a cushion. I'm really not sure. I'm going to check with somebody that I know that made one of these before and ask her how she sealed the drills or if she even bothered sealing them. Because I don't know. I guess the only problem you would have with one of these is if you had a small child that liked to pick at things. It would be sitting there picking at your cushion, you know. That's kind of weird that the entire cushion is vinyl. A, a canvas. I would have thought it would have been cloth and just the drilled area would be the canvas. So it's kind of strange that the entire area is canvas, the entire pillow. I don't know, what do you guys think? You think it's going to be cool or what? I just, I'm not, I don't know. I mean, I love the picture and everything, and I think this is a really neat idea. But yeah, I think it would be so much better if the cushion was cloth and just the drilling area was canvas. I'm sure you guys get what I mean. I mean, yeah, it makes it easy to wash it when it's canvas, but if you're going to wash it, you're going to lose your drills, I think. So. They're kind of sliding a little bit. It's just weird. So, yeah, I think you would have to somehow seal these drills on here. The glue seems very sticky. Like the poor glue area for drilling your drill fields. It seems very sticky, which is a good thing. I finished my Beauty and the Beast piece finally. It's okay. It's not my favorite. Um, I don't know, it's not how I pictured it, I guess. I mean, it came out looking nice, but it does look like glass. It's where I changed it with sparklers. And the rose is sparkly. I think it's the bottom part where the glass is supposed to be like sitting on a table with the rose. Where they made all these white shades, yet the background is dark blue and black. So then it just looks like this perfect line of white on the bottom. I think that area maybe should have been like a brown shade to make it give a wood look, you know, because it's sitting on the table. That's just my opinion on that piece. But all in all, I do like it. Like, you know, it's, I changed it up. I made it different and that's cool. So. I was going to frame it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to bother or not. Because, main reason being, I'm not sure I like it. I mean, I like it. I'm just not sure I love it. How's that? It is weird how these drills kind of slide on here. Very strange. Very strange. See this drill pen I got? Isn't that cool? Looks gold there. And pretty blue. It's beautiful. This is a handmade drill pen. Made out of resin. 
I should actually share my um, drill pen collection with you guys sometime soon. I've gotten so many, I'm kind of, I think I've become addicted to all the colors <laughs> and all the fancy pens. So many companies and so many people are making resin pens for diamond painting. They have their own styles and their own colors and patterns and you see them and you're like, wow, it's almost like a reborn doll, you know, it's like, oh my God, I gotta have that one. It's just how it is and I've ended up with, as you can see, a bit of a selection there. And I have ordered more, believe it or not. Some of these I've gotten for reviews, so. But yeah, those companies I reviewed for, I ended up looking at their product and I ended up ordering more because I loved the colors and the styles. I wanted to try different ones. So now my jewel pens have kind of become like a collection. It could be a stranger collection. I think the weirdest collection I own is my collection of freaking masks. I'm sure you've all got a collection of masks by now. Masks to go with everything you wear. It makes me wonder sometimes if we're ever going to go back to a time where we don't have to wear masks. You know, and if we do, I can see it one day, you know, I'm going to have great grandkids and they're going to find a mask lying around. They're going to be like, what is this? What do you use this for? And I'm going to be like, wow. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to explain the whole pandemic to these children. You know. Or they'll be complaining about how rough their life is, and you'll be like, well, if you lived during this time, if you lived in 2020, we had a pandemic. You couldn't even go out without a mask. You couldn't see your friends. You couldn't go to school. You couldn't go to the mall. You couldn't do anything. And they'll just look at me like I'm crazy. They'll be like, that's craziness. <laughs> well, that was 2020 and 2021. That's how we had to live. But yeah, one day kids are going to look back and be like, you guys had a messed up life. <laughs> yeah, we did. The government kind of controlled it for a while. And they continue to. I think these blacks are going to go in quite a few places on this. You can probably hear my grandson in the background. It's his weekend here, so he's just got up from his nap, and I think his dad's getting him lunch. I'm actually going to go start the dinner in the oven soon. I just wanted to do this video and get this started. Well, of course, now I've started it, I'm not going to want to stop. But I'm going to have to at some point. Drills just don't seem to want to stay put. So yeah, there's got to be a way of sealing this. Like I'm thinking I'm going to have to seal it to keep the drills where they're supposed to be. Because they do seem to slide a bit. And if they slide while well, I'm just sitting here working on this, could you imagine what's going to happen when I put a pillow in there? I got a feeling I'm going to have popping drills everywhere which I don't want to see. Because I find it frustrating when that happens, when you get drills popping. I really do, I find it very irritating. It's weird, that's that, but it looks like a different shape. But there is no such shape like that, so I guess it's black. And I'm not too impressed with these pillows. 
And the sad part is, the company I ordered these from, I ordered two others as well because I thought they would be cool projects. And now I'm like kicking myself in the butt thinking I should have just bought one <laughs> until I checked it out. But, I don't know, maybe it's going to be amazing when it's done. Who knows? I'm just finding it difficult to get the drills to stay in place. I will come back, of course, and show you guys when this is completed. I may actually just save this video and I will add on to the end and show you it completed because it shouldn't take me too long to complete this. Probably I'm working on a reborn as well, so maybe it'll be done tonight. I don't know. Could always just make this part one and upload part two when it's done. I don't want it to be too many days apart, so I'm probably just going to stop this soon and I will come back when it's completed and I've got the cushion in there and show you guys what it looks like and by then I will talk to someone about how I seal this and if I need to seal it so I'll have answers because I honestly never expected the entire front to be vinyl nor did I expect the plastic to be sewed on it like that Kinda of crazy. Made for an interesting start to my video. Had to stop it to cut plastic off it. Oh my goodness. My neck's a little sore today. I didn't sleep well last night. I'm back to having sleeping issues, so oh, it was awful. Because my hand's pretty messed up. You can probably see, see it's all brown. You can't really see it in this light. The sunlight shines and it just makes it look like a yellow patch. But in regular lighting, it's like horribly brown and it's got this big lump here. It's And my hand's like twice the size it's supposed to be there, so. I still haven't got an x-ray, but I probably should. <laughs> I just have too much to do. I have, you know, and my work is with my hands. Um, a cast is not an option for me. So, it's just not, I got kids to feed, so I don't have time to have a cast. So I'm just hoping for the best that it heals. And it's okay, I'm able to use it. I just can't put any pressure on it, twist it, or lift anything with it. <laughs> so yeah, I guess it's not so great. <laughs> I can hold light things with it. Nothing heavy. But yeah. I know that doesn't sound so great when I put it that way. It really doesn't. But, it, you know, it's the way it is. It's life, unfortunately. Crap happens. Alrighty, I have carried on enough here. I am going to come back when I'm finished and show you guys what it looks like. All completed. I'll talk to you guys soon. Alrighty, guys. So I finished it. Right now the Mod Podge on it is drying. Because I did Mod Podge the drills to make sure they on there it's really weird material <laughs> like I'm still blown away that that's not cloth like that should have been cloth and just the drilled area should have been the canvas but the whole thing was canvas but yeah and I put the cushion in it zips up at the back and it's cloth at the back it would have been so much nicer if the front was cloth but yeah it's really neat looking 
See, they're more for decoration anyway, so. But yeah. You can still hear some plastic that I've still got to cut off the edge. But there it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. And these, um, the company does sell these on Amazon as well, I believe. Um, if you just look up uh, diamond painting pillow or throw pillow or whatever on Amazon, it comes up on there. I think there's several different ones you can get. I have ordered another hummingbird one to go with this one and a tulip one. So I'm going to have three of them. I don't know where I'm going to put them because they're not they're definitely not pillows I'd want to put on my bed <laughs> because of like that's crazy. But they're cool and it was fun to do. I enjoyed doing it. So yeah. So there we go guys. A DP pillow. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope you all have a fantastic night. Take care and bye for now.